this is again Showtime with MC back with another video and today we are reviewing the iOS 15 all new design features and changes that you will awesomely like. So yeah, iOS 15 beta is already available to public. You can uh, see the video on how to download it right over here so you can click it and watch it. But today we are reviewing the all new features that this iOS 15 introduces with itself. So it's gonna be a cool video. Make sure to click like, subscribe down below and let's jump into the video. And keep in mind that this is only the first part of the video series about the iOS 15 new features. In this part, I will only cover the design and visual changes such as to the home screen layout, the widgets, the notifications, the notification summaries, and then in the other parts, I will cover all the applicational changes. There are only good for the certain applications that are in this iOS 15. So yeah, we are covering only visual and UI changes and let's jump right into the video. Now the first changes that you might already observe is the home screen layout. The default home screen layout has been changed quite a lot. So this is the default home screen layout that you could find on the iOS 14 with a FaceTime calendar and all that sort of applications and then the other applications. While here, even in the default way of uh, home screen layout, we already have two smart stacks, two small sized smart stacks and the applications are ordered in quite a different way. So we have uh, two smart stacks which includes two or three actual applications which change throughout the day so it's quite interesting so we have weather and then calendar and then it changes throughout the day based on what you need now as far as the app icons are concerned they are also changed in the ios 15 so some of them are really changed these are of course the maps app icon as you can see this is the ios 15 version and this is the ios 14 version so there's quite a lot of difference over there maps application as well as we have weather application also changed so as you can see on ios 14 we have sun on this side while on ios 15 we have the sun on the other side just a minor change but still a considerable one and the last change that we have is in the cameras application icon which is very very hard to spot but as you can see here is the ios 14 version on the camera app icon we have a little dot over there the shooting dot while we don't have it on the camera application in iOS 15. Just a minor change, but still the one that is, deserves to be noticed. Next up on the list, we have actually a bunch of new cool features and the one of them is actually in the control center. So as you can see, control center has also changed. Not quite a lot of changes, but so instead of screen mirroring being over here, we have focus over here and instead of do not disturb, we have screen mirroring. And the focus is quite important and interesting thing, which is actually new only inclusively for the iOS 15. And so it basically allows you to focus on the tasks that you are performing at the moment. And there are quite different ways that you can do this. So we have do not disturb, sleep, personal, and work. And so you can find focus in the day. Now I will try to demonstrate how this works even though I haven't tried it yet out myself. So let's see, so do not disturb can be, of course, with some different types of options. For example, for one hour until this evening or until I leave this location. Also, let's actually read what Find Focus says. So Find Focus in the day says, fill your notification signal to friends when you're not available and hide distractions without missing what's important. So it's quite an interesting thing, as you can see right over there. This is the definition of flat focus. And so you can basically go inside it with uh, the um, control center. And so we have also sleep. So while you're sleeping, you will turn it on and it will basically be like sleep mode. And you can, of course, change it uh, throughout the settings. But I'm going to turn it off now. And also the two new two new modes of this focus uh, that we didn't have in the iOS 14 are actually personal and work. So personal, 
is basically personal focus right over here as you can see don't miss out a lot of notifications from important people and apps and silence the rest across all devices as well as share your away let others know your away with a status that says you have notifications silenced so next then you have basically a list of allowed people who will be able to send you the notifications while you are in this mode of work you can add people just like this from your contacts and when you're done you're gonna just simply tap them and uh, you can even uh, you can even tap on allow none if you can see there is such option and it will basically allow no one to access uh, and to basically call you or send you messages while you are in the work section of focus so allow two people then you can also choose the allowed applications for the notifications to be sent uh, while you are on the work so for example facebook instagram messenger youtube studio and youtube I would just choose YouTube Studio and YouTube if I'm on the work, so nothing more because, well, that's my general work over there. And you can, of course, add applications as well throughout the day. I would also like to add, for example, mail over there, and you can just simply choose mail and top down button over there and it will just simply allow these three applications to send you notifications while you have chosen the focus of work and you can allow three apps and there are also time sensitive notifications which are allow apps to deliver important notifications immediately even when you have a focus turned on you can allow it or no i will allow it and your focus is ready over there as you can see so it says on everywhere when you turn on focus it's turned on across all of your devices you can turn uh, a focus on and off from your control center as i've already mentioned you can choose your home screen limit distractions when a focus is on by hiding home screen pages and more ways to focus and more focus times for different activities in settings or control center so we're going to tap down and now the focus is already available it's even in the settings application even though i don't know where in particular but you can really find it just by searching it so focus and so it seems like it's in the accessibility and switch control you can see the focus somewhere over there so focus item after tab or something like that so yeah this is basically the new mode that the ios 15 introduces and it's called focus so we have uh do not disturb personal sleep or work oh actually that was personal not the work that i've managed over there but yeah you kind of see how it all works so work focus can be also um changed and don't miss out turn on automatically have work focus turn on for you at a set time or location or while using a certain app or share your away so there are also availability to add people also apps and so basically very similar process which we covered in the focus of personal now as far as the widgets are concerned we have quite a lot of changes in the ios 15 as according to the widgets application so now i will cover all the new widget availabilities that we have with the ios 15. so there are a couple of new widgets so first one is the app store widgets that we didn't have previously on ios 14 so this is how they look they basically demonstrate an application uh, on your iphone now it doesn't at the moment because i'm not connected to the internet but it surely does when you are so it's quite interesting widget that has been added yeah you, you saw it right there just for a split second now we also have some other widgets added on to the ios 15 such as such as for example uh the widget of the contacts application right over here so contacts is also new um it will basically display contact that you want to contact <laughs> yeah easy way to say it and so you can then immediately call them just right from your home screen so as you can see also the find my widgets are also quite new so you can find people or find the devices that you have even though i don't have any items right now entered but you can really do that as well with the find my 
widgets. Now moving forward with the widgets, the new widget that is also added is the Game Center widget, which basically allows you to see uh, the applications, the game applications that you've been playing with the Game Center logged in, as well as what your friends are playing with on the in the Game Center. So pretty interesting uh, Game Center widget. Next up on the list is a well-awaited mail widget, which shows you the mail that you've received throughout the previous, like previous time. Basically, there is no certain time frame for which it shows you the uh, mail that has been received, and it will also. Uh, there are two sizes: the medium and the large one, and they show you the mail that you've received, to previous two mails or previous four mails if you choose the large size. And the last new widget that has been added is Sleep Widget and it only comes in one small size which data and schedule see how you slept and review your sleep schedule. It just basically shows you uh, for how long was the sleep focus turned on during the night which basically relates probably to the time that you slept during the night as well. Now, even though these are the main new widgets uh, that have been added, there are still some few minor changes made to the already existing widgets in the iOS 14 that are now in the iOS 15. And we will cover them right now. Now, in the calendar widget, there is a new month calendar uh, small size widget that has not been uh, in the iOS 14. So here it is. It basically shows you the entire month, the current month, uh, day by day. So basically you can see uh, all which, which day is on which number. So I don't know, maybe it's pretty important. Um, so yeah, this is one of the new widgets, month calendar. Then we also have in the uh, widgets another, which is up next large size. We had this one up next, which will basically show you all the uh, upcoming uh, things that were available all day. But here it is, the up next, the new version of the up next is right over here, as you can see in the calendars widget application. Also, the medium up next size is also quite different. As you can see, here is the iOS 14 version and here is the iOS 15 version. Then we have a new clock widget, which is uh, which says date and time. And so this is how this new widget looks. It's basically a transparent uh, clock widget. And also a new thing that has been added to all the clock widgets, well, not all, but for example, the city clock widget, is you can see the diff design is quite different. So for example, here, this is how it looked. And here we have the circle and then the little uh, lines over there with each number. So that's also quite new. The transparency has also been added to the files widgets as you can see right over here. So this is the iOS 14 version. This is the iOS 15 version, as well as here, the large size of the re recent files is quite different and quite unusual and weird, I would even say, in the iOS 15, this is how it looks, this is iOS 14 version. Now, in the fitness widgets, we don't have anything new, but on the contrary, one of the sizes has been removed. Now we only have small and medium size and no large size as we had previously in the activity or fitness widget, which is quite disappointing. Also, while choosing the widgets, a very interesting small detail that I've noticed is that Siri Suggestions now has a different icon, as you can see. Although the ooh, Siri Suggestions themselves help, have not been changed, however, this icon, this icon of the Siri Suggestions is quite different. And the last thing that is new about the widgets, which I awfully don't like is that you cannot like while searching for the widget or not searching but like browsing for a widget while tapping the x button over here as you can see it basically goes to the home screen not to this widgets center over here as it was previously with the ios 15 so for example shortcuts widget when you would tap the x button it would just simply return here which i awfully liked and now that feature is somehow gone with the x you go again to the home screen the thing that we have uh, uh which is new as well is the only new wallpaper which just looks like this as you can see like this on the home screen and basically the dark mode of this wallpaper looks just like this 
And the last thing that we'll cover in this video, in this part of the new iOS 15 features, is of course the notifications that have changed with the design a lot. So here, as you can see, this is the way the notifications looked in iOS 15 as opposed to this, is the way how the notifications in the iOS 15 look like. So this is the side-by-side -side comparison. They are more compact and they are more thin and sort of better looking, I guess you could say. So yeah, that's what's new with the notifications. You can tap on them and they show the minimal version of themselves, the minimal uh, information. And the new thing that is with these notifications, the huge new thing that is actually with these new notifications in the iOS 15 is the summary, the notification summaries. So I have a picture of it, what it is. So notification summary, bundle non-urgent notifications and receive them in a summary at convenient times. We can schedule the delivery, choose when you'd like your notification summary to arrive, as well as get what's important, calls, direct messages and time sensitive notifications Will be delivered immediately even for apps in your summary so now i will demonstrate how this works so in order to set the notification summary you'll need to go to the settings then you're gonna go to the notifications and scheduled summaries as you can see right over here uh, and you can add as many scheduled summaries as you want so i'm gonna receive a summary now only in 11 minutes at five o'clock as you can see um, you can for example add a new summary for it to be delivered as soon as possible so for example the fourth summary and you can choose date and time with this little scroll wheel animation so let's do it at 16 for example uh, 16 I don't know 51 maybe or 50 actually yeah here it is so I've added this notification summary and now when you'll open up your iPhone and it will become the time for the notification summary to arrive which is set by you uh, earlier it will arrive your afternoon summary as you can see and it basically includes a lot of information of what you've missed so you can tap on it and it will uh, show every single one of them every single one of the notifications that you've missed throughout this time basically in a very uh, beautiful animation right like this thank you guys for watching if you like this video make sure to click like huge like and subscribe down below so that you don't miss just any future videos just like this believe it or not that will be of course the second part where i will be covering the applicational applicational changes and there are huge amount of these so make sure click like and subscribe and the next part will be with you and i'll see you guys there bye